everyone, this is Ashley. Today we're going to be going over plot. So what is plot? Plot includes three key things. What happens in a story, what the story is about, and all of the events in the story. So what are the parts of the plot? There are five parts. The exposition, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the denouement. So let's go over the first part, the exposition. So the exposition is the beginning. In the exposition, we learn about the setting, the characters, the conflict, the point of view, the mood, and background information. And then we have the rising action. The rising action includes the main events of the story, series of events which intensifies the conflict, the characters try again and again to overcome the conflict. So when the conflict is introduced, the rising action starts and the exposition ends. Then we have the center of the story, which is the climax, and this is a turning point of the conflict. So the climax is when the tension is the strongest and the characters have begun to solve the problem. Then we have the falling action. This is when the problem is solved. So the falling action is the description of how the problem is solved. It's very simple. Then we have the denouement, which includes how the story ends and it ties up any loose ends that's, that the reader needs to understand the story. So it is the ending of the story, aka the resolution. So here is all these terms together. This is a plot line. So it is like a graphic organizer, but for plot. And to help you remember, it kind of looks like a mountain. So the story starts with the exposition, and then the rising action, and then the climax, the falling action, and the denouement. As you can see, the exposition goes for a little bit. The rising action is the longest. The climax is just a little bit of the story. The falling action goes down to here, and the denouement ends the story. So the key thing here is that the rising action is the longest that builds up the story to get to the climax, which is the exciting part of the story. So one thing that you need to know is that this mountain over here may look a little different. It may go to the exposition, rising action, and end at the climax. And this is called a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger is a story that ends at the climax and doesn't have a denouement. Cliffhangers are missing the ending, so they leave you in suspense. That's why they're called cliffhangers. So as a reminder, plot includes three key things. What happens in a story, what the story is about, and all the events. And the parts of the plot include the exposition, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the denouement. And this is a plot line which you can use to map out the plot. So if you were working on this, you would write down each of these, and then you could also write down what was the exposition, what was the, writing, the rising action, right next to the terms. So then later on, you can figure out what the story is about and have all the main events outlined in front of you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.